Hello, everybody, and welcome to this quick video with myself and Mr. Simon Bates. Hello. And we are looking at the Yanagisawa AW01, one of the most popular upgrade saxophones that we sell at Dorks, uh, chosen by lots of people who visit the shop when they compare models like to like. An extremely good all-round saxophone that offers players lots of different options. Mm -hmm. So before we get into a little bit of the spec and some of the differences with the other Yanagisawas, maybe Simon just give us a little bit of a, a hoot. Good stuff. So, so the 01 uh, comes from the A901. That's what it used to be, which mm -hmm. was a really, really popular saxophone lots of people played. But what are your feelings? Why do you think it's so successful as, a, as an all-rounder? It's, it's very easy to play. It's nice and open. Uh, it's a bright sound, uh, if you like that sort of thing. Um, it's got a lot of presence. Um, it, does, it does what you want it to do, basically. That's, that's the, the, the key to uh, the Yanagasawa range, I think. that They're, they're very free-blowing. Um, just easy saxophones. Yeah, easy from a playing point of view, easy from an ownership point of view. They are so well made. Mm. Along with the Yamaha, I mean, let's be frank, those two are the best made brands. Yes, yeah, I won't I, disagree. Yes, I include <laughs> other European manufacturers when I talk about that, okay? Mm -hmm. But the Japanese have got it nailed on the manufacturing. Indeed they have, yeah, very much so. So from a reliability point of view, you can't go wrong with the Yamaha no. Sour. And uh, like Simon says, they are free-blowing. They kind of let you do anything. So if you are a classical player, if you're playing in a concert band, if you're playing in a small jazz group, you can pretty much do whatever you want. They don't take you one way or the other. They just let you get what you want out. Yes. Is that fair to say? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and from a feel point of view, they, they are differently laid out to, say, the Yamaha or the Selmas mm -hmm. and things, so it might suit different people's fingers. There's no right or wrong on that, but if you've not had a Yanagasawa, so you've started on a Yamaha student one, for example, which is a common thing to do, they might feel a tiny bit different, but not uncomfortably yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess I, I would describe it compared to a lot of the, the beefier saxophones as being a bit more delicate, yes, perhaps. Yes, but then not everybody is Simon's no. uh, build and frame. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so there we go. But all in all, an excellent all-round saxophone. There are bronze versions, which is an 02. That's a separate instrument, which we've done a video on. And there is an 010, which has the underslung neck and a couple of other differences also, mm. which we've done the video on. But if you're making your first upgrade, this is a really good thing to compare against a Yamaha 62 and some of the other things at that yeah, sort of price yeah, point. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Cool. Well, let's maybe have mm -hmm. a little bit more, Simon, just to play us out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 